I want to talk about three mistakes that I made when it comes to finding carriers on Facebook or online in general. I'm saying Facebook because when I do have time, I'll sit there and I'll watch the way people post and the way people interact with carriers in these groups and vice versa, of course. I've also made some mistakes on my own when it comes to this. Please like, share, and subscribe so that I can be motivated to continue making videos like this for you guys. Let me tell you guys some mistakes that I've made and that I see a lot of people making when it comes to posting in these groups, okay? To get clientele, to get to find an owner operator or a carrier to work with you. Well, the first thing is posting your business flyers without any captions or no kind of explanation. That's gonna get overlooked. Like people are gonna scroll right past that. So figure out how you want to represent yourself when you're posting in these groups. Don't just post your flyer and go leave a, a description or a caption or something like that. And also it's something with the algorithm, I think, and I could be wrong, comment below, let me know what you guys think. But there's something in the algorithm on Facebook, I believe, where if you just post a picture in a group versus post a picture and actually write a caption above it, it actually gets shown to a lot more people, it seems like. And that's just in my experience. I don't know, comment below, let me know what you guys think. But what I noticed, speaking to carriers, a lot of carriers don't care for that. It comes across as lazy and like you're just trying to hurry up and get it out of the way. And dispatching is not, it's not one of those get it out of the way kind of thing, especially when it comes to getting clients and representing yourself as a business. Post your flyer, but post it and say what you can do for them. Like, are you offering whatever you're offering to get these people to actually stop and, and read? What is that like a free week free services um like what what is it you know just be interesting don't just post a flyer and just keep going and that's not just posting a flyer like if you just go on the page and you're just posting a flyer on the wall i'm talking about also when people comment in the groups or they post in the groups carriers because they will in these facebook groups a whole bunch of this and, and by facebook groups a lot of you guys might be asking like what, what is she talking about there's plenty of facebook groups on facebook for uh with filled with owner operators, carriers, and dispatchers alike. And it seems like it's over flooded for a lot of people, they get discouraged. But first of all, half of those dispatchers quit. And also there are carriers and owner operators who come to these Facebook pages and they they actually only came here to look for a, a dispatcher real quick. So they'll post like, hey, I'm sick of doing this on my own. I'm tired. I just really need a dispatcher. And sometimes they'll tell you what they're offering you is pay. They'll tell you even what kind of equipment they have right away. But I'll see people also just post their flyers or their business, or virtual business cards in the comment section and they don't, they don't leave a comment or anything. Like I can help keep you moving um, or nothing like that. That's not good enough. A couple of months ago, I was helping a couple of people look for dispatchers because sometimes people reach out to me because they need um, help finding a dispatcher actually. So I made a couple of posts in some of the Facebook groups um, a couple of months ago to help this and a lot of people just posted their flyers and they just kept kept moving they didn't even say anything like hi I'm a dispatcher I can help nothing they didn't give me any anything other than they just posted the flyer and and that was it so for me as uh, the person looking for the dispatcher um, even though it was on behalf of someone else but as a person looking for a dispatcher what I noticed was that um, that was pretty unattractive so I hate to sound like, I guess, uppity for lack of better words, but when when I went and posted that, I didn't really have time to be reading every single flyer um, in depth like that. So what I was looking for was someone to actually slide in my inbox. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, hit me up, hit me up. If you come in and leave your flyer, just say, hey, I sent you a message, inboxed you, ready when you are. You know what I'm saying? Like, let me know like, okay, this person, this person's ready to go. Like, let me hurry up and check my inbox for this specific person so we can, so we can, you know, have this conversation and keep getting moving so we can get these wheels turning, right? A couple of people actually slid in my inbox and once I responded to them, they just called me. And to some people that might be or feel inappropriate, but if you're trying to get to the bag, scare money don't make money. So I really kind of enjoyed the people that reached out to me and called me first. I was able to have a conversation with them right away. And if you don't feel comfortable reaching out to someone and calling them, we give them your phone number, like reach out to them and tell them, this is my phone number and my flyer. And then we can talk. You know, I know a lot of you guys have your phone number on the flyer, but in a lot, half the time, ain't nobody clicking those flyers to see the phone number, okay? That was a pretty long explanation, but I just wanted to let you guys know, just don't make that rookie mistake. And it also looks like you're lacking confidence. And I know it's like just from posting the flyer without saying nothing. Like, yeah, 
The next thing, number two. So the second mistake that I made is taking it personally when a carrier didn't choose me. I see a lot of you guys doing that as well and no hard feelings to you guys because especially a lot of us are in business for the first time. When it comes to this dispatching thing, I know this was my first business. Being that it was my first business, it, I did kind of take it personally because I worked so hard on my business when I did all this, gathered all this information, did all this work for a carrier and they didn't choose me. They didn't uh, reach back out to me or whatever it may be. And so that's a really big mistake because it wastes time and energy. And I know some people are gonna be like, oh, here we go with this energy stuff. I'm gonna get off my, my energy soapbox in a second. But let me tell you how, when you sit here and harp on the negative, it literally wastes space for you to make room for the things that you want. Like you're sitting here talking about stuff. Oh, I don't want this. I don't got time for this. Um, first of all, it's business. Yes, you do. And if you don't have time for it, you ain't got time for your business because part of that, you know, rejection comes. And so if you're beating yourself up about it and if you're wasting all this time and this energy on it, you're not gonna have time to actually reach out to the people who may actually need you and could use your services. And I did that and it drained me so much so that I felt like I was about a month behind in the beginning of my um, process of trying to get carried. Don't let that drain you. If somebody don't choose you, it probably wasn't, everything happens for a reason. I don't know, maybe not everybody believes that, but move on. Next a mistake that I made, was um, not picking up the phone to communicate after advertising or trying to do all my communicating via text or email. So I was nervous um, when it came to um, posting ads because I did post ads on Facebook and I did post ads and advertising myself as well in general to get carriers. And so when I posted my advertising, and people actually started to reach out to me, I wasn't answering the phone. And it kind of sucks, but I, I made all kinds of excuses for myself in the beginning as to why I wasn't, I was nervous. Um, I felt like I was missing things. I didn't want to slip up and say something wrong. But I'm here to tell you like, ain't nobody got time for that. Like if you make a mistake, you'll learn from that mistake. So be ready to make your mistake and move on, okay? So answer the phone don't be like me that's a mistake that I made for sure um, and also trying to do all of my communicating via text and email because I was too anxious to say something or sound dumb <laughs> or sound a certain way or whatever and um, I tried to communicate via text and email and a lot of these carriers some of them are older and like they don't want to be texting you back and forth and, and a lot of them don't even check their email like that so nobody has time for missing out on money or clientele because you won't pick up the phone. And I see a lot of you guys doing that as well. I hear a lot of you guys doing it. I read a lot of you guys doing it actually because people email me all the time or I'm doing the con or I'll do a consultation with someone and they'll mention that they have done that. Pick up the phone, be confident. You're a business owner, this your business, be confident. Do what you gotta do. Oh, I just don't want you guys missing any opportunity. That just leads to missed opportunities. I have missed a couple on my own and I'm not ashamed to say, I mean, a little bit, but it is what it is, because we're here now. And the last thing, just a little bonus. I want you to be proactive. Like, don't sit and watch everybody else do this. A lot of you guys are in my groups. You might see people saying they are making their carriers money. They're making money. They've been dispatching. Don't sit and watch. Take action. Don't be uh, the kind of person whose life just happens to you. Like, take control. Take action. You can do that. It's okay to take action. We are all adults. Keep those things in mind. Don't make those same mistakes that I did, especially when it comes to getting carriers on Facebook. Hopefully that helps somebody. If you need any eBooks, consultations, or dispatch training, please check the description box below. And thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video.